I just finished grounding myself, you know, sitting by the water and just grounding myself, healing myself um, with Mother Gaia. And I wanted to share this video because it's something that I wrote at 4.46 um, in the morning. It's something that that a few people or I get often asked a lot and I'm not too sure if I you know made a video on this but I posted a um, a video yesterday on YouTube and you know I was in my bag I was really like in my bag and I'm purging this today is day nine of my 30 day raw reset and I've been purging a lot like a lot of emo especially emotional I've been purging a lot of emotional you know, in all aspects, mostly physically and spiritually, but and mentally. But yesterday it was a lot of emotional and and just like so. Whatever was recorded, whatever I I I, I filmed is exactly how I felt. It's exactly every word by word. But many had often asked me and 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 say to me like, "How do I do it? Like, how do you cope and deal?" with the loss of a child you know i get that a lot like i get that a lot um and i honestly don't know to be honest to be honest i don't know like i guess it's like the fire within me the warrior within me i guess it's my soul you know carrying my body instead of my body carrying my soul it's my soul pushing me through and 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 letting me know that it's okay you know it's okay everything's gonna be okay and this that you're experiencing the things that you're dealing with you know it's part of the process it's okay you know this is why i say it's 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 a beautiful our body is a beautiful thing our soul is a beautiful thing and we need to make that our priority we need to learn how to take care of ourselves the right way, to learn how to love our body, our phys not only our physical body, but also our spiritual, our soul. Like we need to, you know, give our attention, our love and tender and care to our um our soul and our and our physical body internally, you know, and not focus on the outside and not abandon or ignore or neglect our soul because they are those two things really, really get you through life. Like it's it's amazing how much they carry you through and how much you still stand regardless of how many, you know, garbage and, and self-sabotaging you do with yourself. Like, it's it's a beautiful, magical thing that it's a powerful thing that, you know, not many under, understand. But some of the things that I wrote uh, at 4 o'clock in the morning was, um, I guess it's the fire within me, the warrior within me that keeps fighting, that keeps me standing. My soul knows and understands, so it helps the body to keep fighting. That's the spiritual aspect of it. On the physical human level, I honestly just let it be. I find ways on how to release and allow myself to heal. Some of those things are journaling. I journal a lot. Like, I journal a lot, a lot. I filled up about 12 journals since heaven left. And when I don't feel like picking up a pencil or pen, I audio it on my podcast, Life of a Green Mother on Anchor. Anchor. Or I record myself like I'm doing now. Um, and they are all forms of journaling. It, journaling it all out. Like, I, these are all forms of me releasing it. Like, this is a way of me releasing my emotions, my traumas, exactly how I feel at the moment. This is this is a me. These are my ways of releasing and, and, and coping and, and healing, allowing myself to heal. I create these spaces for myself to heal, for my soul, my body, for my mental, my emotional, my physical, and my spiritual body to heal, to release all the traumas, to release, to release, to release, and allow myself to heal through journaling, through whether it's, like I said, writing, physically me writing, or me audio, just, just the audio my podcast, or me, like what I'm doing now, a video. This is how I release all my videos and audios and journaling are all for me. Like, even if I share it with the world, even if I make my podcast public, it's for nobody but me. It's, it, this is, it's something that's for me. This is something that I create. It's what I call my sacred space. It's, it's for me to heal. It, this is what has helped me and allowed me to deal with what I have, what has happened. 
this was has helped me and allow me to see things on a deeper level to to keep my sanity intact and not you know allow my my emotions to fully take control and over my entire being because it's 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 havoc it will cause so much havoc it's insane i don't make my videos my audio or my journaling with others in mind it's literally solely for me it's just a few ways that i chose that works for me you know it this is this works for me that allows me to create that space to stop sit listen and release i face myself and allow all the doors i have ran from and locked full fully full of unhealed wounds traumas and issues to be released in whatever shape way or form it needs to be released without self-harming or harming anyone else i don't rehearse cut edit my stories or my experiences i do shorten the the some videos because sometimes i i tend to just release so much that it ends up being like 50 minutes 60 minutes i'm not going to release that like i'm just giving you bits and pieces that might help someone else that's currently going through what i'm going through i won't ever allow myself to bottle up my feelings anymore however it comes out is the way it will be out on paper audio or video this isn't about anyone else it's about me my childhood traumas and issues my teen years and my adulthood life this is my life my story my experiences and i don't care how it looks or sounds to anyone else honestly i don't because i really don't i don't care if anybody label me bitter toxic negative um hateful jealous however you want to call it but i honestly don't that don't bother me i honestly don't even care because that's just your opinion and your opinion to me is none of my business your opinion about me is none of my business what you label me what you what you call me or what you judge me it's a reflection of it's a, it's a direct reflection of who you are so what you what anyone thinks about me it, it's none of my business my business is my healing my business is me Dati, this person right here like getting myself together and this person right here i'm not worrying about nobody else i'm not worrying about by anybody else that's that's you know, looking at me a certain way, if I upload a video and it comes off the wrong way, I don't care about all that shit. Like, I really don't care. Like I say, I'm I'm not a fraud. I'm not a fake. I'm not that shit that y'all used to see in, uh, on social media. I post raw transparency, like raw shit, like daily shit that I actually go through in life. I don't care what anybody thinks. Like, I really don't care what anybody thinks or say or anything like that. Like, it doesn't really bother me at all. So, like I said, these video, they weren't about anybody else. These videos are about me. Like I said, they're about me, my childhood, you know, healing my inner child, my traumas, my wounds, during my teens, during my adulthood, currently, like, my grieving. It's all about me. Like, it, this is my, my this is my journey. This is my, my life experience. This is exactly what I'm going through. This is really personal. This is really deep for me. Like, this is, I need this. This helps me. Like, so, yeah. So these videos aren't aren't meant for anyone in particular. Like they're not a specific person. If you see me slashing out or like cursing or just you know all over the place, it's literally just me releasing what I currently feel. It's just literally me facing an unhealed door that I locked. It's something or me releasing something that triggered me, and I'm fate and I'm asking what is that trigger rooted in? You understand what I'm saying? Like this, it's just me allowing myself to express myself freely the way it wants to express itself and release what's been hold, what, what's been tying me down and release all these freaking wounds and trauma so i could finally you know lift all this weight on my shoulders and just be able to 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 enjoy life better manifest into my life the abundance that i deserve the abundance is already here because i am blocking my own manifestation by being stuck I block my own manifestation by surrounding myself with things that no longer serves me, with people that no longer serves me. I block my own manifestation by listening to low vibrational frequency music that no longer that doesn't serve me any any good. I black block my own blessings and manifestations, my own abundance when I when when I keep things that no longer serves me. I am block my own, you know, manifestations and abundance and blessings. By not letting go of who I used to be. By not, by not killing off this person that no longer serves, is serving me anymore. That can't go with me on my next level. This is why I do this. So if, if it comes out in, if it comes out in any way 
shape or form to anybody like if it, it triggers anyone if anyone starts to label me listen the issue is not me the issue is within you i trigger i awoke in a dark side within you that you need to that you need to face that you need to 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 stop running from and you need to sit down and figure out why is it that you're you're feeling the way you're feeling and acting the way you're acting why is it that my words or my videos make you make you hate me or make you label me or make you or triggers you Triggers are always rooted in a wound, an unhealed wound, a trauma. Me, like whatever, whatever triggers you, whatever I trigger in within you needs your attention. This is deep for me. This is this is this is personal and this is deep for me. No one has to understand my story. No one has to understand. No one has to get it. But me. If 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 people choose not to understand or or get it, then that's not my problem. That's not my business. And that's okay. You don't have to get you don't have to understand or get me. You don't have to understand or get my videos. You don't. Because that's like I said, this is for me. This is for me. I share I choose to share because I know for a fact there's a brother or a sister out there that's going to dinner with the same thing that I have already overcame or that I am currently on the process of overcoming and healing from and releasing. So it will help guide them. To a better understanding of what, how to cope and deal with the things that they're coping and dealing with currently. My only concern, my only focus, it's me. My mental, my emotion, my physical, and my spiritual being. Well-being. Allowing me to release all that needs to be released without judgment or labels. I don't judge my feelings when they come up. I don't judge my thoughts. I don't, I don't label myself. Nothing. I don't label them. I just let them be. I just listen intuitively 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 i'd listen to see if there's a message behind it to see if they're trying to tell me something i don't judge it and i don't label it i cry i scream i break things i just i might get angry i'm all that but that's i i understand that's all part of the process and i embrace it and i accept it and i allow it and i give it permission to continue to show up to open up all these doors that i've ran from so I can rediscover areas of myself that I didn't know or that I had covered with self-sabotaging feelings and emotion, unhealed issues, wounds, and traumas. I won't neglect myself anymore for anyone. Just because my videos makes others uncomfortable, I'm not going to shut up. I'm not going to stop posting. I'm not going to stop releasing. No, I'm not going to stop doing that. If it makes you uncomfortable, then that's your problem. That's not my problem. I won't rob myself of the freedom I am entitled to. I won't sell myself short. I won't steal my own joy or inner happiness just to make others comfortable. No, that's not going to happen anymore. I'm not, I'm not, I'm done with the people pleasing. That's, I'm done with that. However my words come out, whether they make sense or not, it's how I'm letting them out. I don't think of what I am going to say. I allow it to flow out the way it wants to come out. I don't force thoughts. Whatever, however I'm feeling, whether they make sense or not, is exactly how they're coming out. This is how I heal. This is how I keep my sanity in place. I cut all distractions out. I create challenges and journeys for myself to find, to find different ways to learn how to cope and deal with life without my child. To find ways to release everything mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Finding ways to remember me. To figure out me. To rediscover me. And all that I hold within and how to embrace it. Access it all. And how to tune in fully. And tap into everything that I hold within. This isn't about anyone. Even if I mention names on my journal, my audio, or these videos still not about them it's all part of my of me releasing and healing and anyone i mentioned were part of my pain anyone that i ever mentioned in, in like i said in my journal or in my, in my audio uh, um or in my videos they were part of my pain they were part of, of 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 my wounds of my traumas so yes if it comes up and it mentions the name i'm gonna repeat i'm gonna say the name i'm gonna i'm not gonna beat around the bushes or 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 bear anyone's feelings but again, I don't have no beef with nobody right now. Right now, though, in, in, in the phase that I'm on, I have no beef with no one. But like I said, I'm not going to neglect myself. I'm not going to neglect my inner me 
on my inner child to allow herself to release what needs to be released just be, just to make other people comfortable. No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen at all. I'm going to release it however way it comes out. Anyone I mentioned when part of my pain, my trauma, my, my unresolved issues that I no longer allowed to have, I no longer allow them to have power over me. Therefore, I forgive myself first for allowing others to have so much power over me. Then I forgive them, set them free, and I close those doors. Once those doors, once I know that my soul tells me, okay, this, you know, because I will know when, when, I'm, when I'm already healed that door, I will close it. This is how I do it. The emotional and spiritual part, this is exactly how I do it. The physical part isn't changing my old habits and ways. My whole my old habits, ways, and patterns. The way I eat, the types of food I eat, how I eat, how much I eat, the things I watch, the music I, I allow my ears to listen to, the music that I allow my, my soul to listen to, my surroundings. This is how I do This is the physical part. I rely and trust deeply on the universe, on my guidance, on Mother Earth for all my needs. I trust in her and her healing powers and her herbs, her magic, everything that she creates. Everything that she creates, I trust fully in the universe. I trust fully in Mother Gaia and everything that she produces and creates to heal me, to sustain my life, my, my biological structure. Because nature is me and I am nature. I am one with nature. My mental, I'm still all working on. Like, I'm still working on my mental, but I understand that everything is energy and thoughts create, you know, my reality. So I watch what I say and what I think, unlike before. I unlearn a lot of the bullshit that the system, people, and the bullshit, my parents that they fucking instilled my, that, that programmed into my subconscious mind. I unlearn all that shit. And I allow my mind to be filled with truth, wisdom, higher vibration, positive thoughts, vision, goals, healing, magic. Like, I had to do a lot of soul searching. I had to, I had to go through a lot of dark nights of the soul to get to where I'm at, to where I'm going. All while showing and giving gratitude daily. I don't ever forget to give gratitude daily. That is one of the universe language. Gratitude. This shit will fucking destroy you if you allow it. This shit is not for the weak. This shit that I've been going through is not for the weak at all. It's not always rainbows and sunshine, but I do my best to make the changes needed and allow myself to learn and grow. Something that not many people do. Not many people do it or they say it, but they don't do it. It's different. It's easier to say it than to do it. I'm not who I used to be. Who I was no longer exists. Other people's opinions and label of me isn't my business because it's not. My business is me here and now to continue to do whatever I need to do to heal my inner child, which helps my adult self to release and, and heal as well. I have no beef with anyone, honestly. I couldn't care less what the world is up to or into or doing because I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care what the world is doing. I'm focused on myself and making sure I stay away from the lost crowd, create my own reality, not bothered by anyone's opinion of me. This is my journey. This is my life. This is my story. This is my experience. This is how I do it. I flow freely. Freely. I don't, I don't restrict myself. I don't limit myself. I don't stop myself. I don't know. I don't put anyone in front of me anymore. No, I do what I need to do for myself, for my inner child. This is how I do it. This is how I've been coping with it. This, just like this. I rebirth myself over and over and over and over again as many times as I need to. And I'm going to continue to rebirth myself. And even if I have to reintroduce myself every single time, I'm going to continue to do it. Because every level in your life requires a new higher you. You're not supposed to remain the same. And like I said, this is not for the weak. It's not for the weak. And I hate the fact that a lot of y'all, a lot of a lot of a lot of people take the credit for self-transformation. Like I said in my last video, a lot of people take credit for the things that we for the work that we do. 
for the shit that we embody. Because it's an embodiment. This is not something that you uh, uh, search on YouTube and, 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 and you read or No, this is shit that you actually got to, you know, be out there in nature and, and ground yourself and embody. You got to body. You got to go through these phases. You got to go through this through these dark nights of the soul. You got you got to go through hell and back multiple times. But I better keep doing this to ever sit stuck, slave, following, obeying, and repeating. To, to share fraudness and fakeness. To be like everybody else. No, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not stealing nobody else's fucking content and post it, making it my own. Just to what? To gain followers and sales like uh, like some of y'all on my page does? Do? Man, fuck out of here. This is how I do it. This is how I cope. This is how I heal. I don't hold nothing back. I just release exactly how... Some of y'all in society, in, mid, in the media, and the system call it bipolar or whatever. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. That's why a lot of y'all walking around sick as hell, depressed as fucking hell, with high volume of anxiety, and eating like shit, self-sabotaging, miserable as fuck, unhappy, like, because you're not facing yourself. Y'all got so many built up unhealed wounds and traumas that y'all not fucking facing. And then y'all wonder why y'all life is so upside down. And y'all wonder why y'all so, y'all not doing good physically, internally, mentally, spiritually, y'all not doing good. It's because of that, because y'all keep running from yourself. Y'all not facing yourselves. Y'all out here listening to people that are fucking faking frauds. Like I said, what I share is fucking pure, raw wisdom, pure, raw transparency. The good, the bad, the ugly, and in fucking in between. That's why I made this video, to just give clarity on that question that I get a lot often. How do you deal? Like, I just, I just allow myself, I just create the space that I need. And, and allow myself to release what I need to release in whatever shape, way, or form I need to release it. I'm not worrying about, oh, if I post this, maybe it's going to hurt this person, maybe it's going to hurt that person. No, I don't I don't think of it that, that way. I know I speak things that, 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 that my own family do that I'm against. But that's not me coming at them. That's not me coming at them. I love my family. Like, I love my siblings dearly. Like, and I respect, I respect their beliefs and their choices. This is just something that I, this, I choose to... To, to do to release because it's, it helps me it helps me a lot and like I said I like to say I like to raise up I like to raise awareness on things that are being um, brushed under the under the rug I like to raise awareness on things that people don't pay attention to I like to I like to bring attention to things that people are fucking ignoring that needs to be looked at I like to share raw wisdom and truth on healing mental healing emotional healing physical healing spiritual healing I embody this shit. I go through this. I go through. The, I put my so, myself through the phases, through the through the through the journey, through the talent challenges that it takes to embody this shit. Can't see it, but I I see right through the bullshit of people. I see right through the fakeness and bullshit of fucking people. This is how I deal with it. This is how I cope. And spending time grounding myself in with Mother Gaia, it is exactly how I do it. And I wouldn't want it any other way. I do this shit by myself. I know, I literally sit. I created this darkness. I created this war with myself, and I'm gonna face myself. A lot of y'all create a war with yourself, and y'all be so scared to face yourself. Y'all are scared to sit even two minutes alone with yourself because y'all don't want to face those feelings that come up. Y'all think it's too much. Y'all think it's too much. It's too. It's too dark. It's too scary. Y'all, y'all fucking created it. You're literally running from yourself. You're scared of your, yourself. Y'all created those demons in your head. Y'all created that shit. So face it. Sit down and, and fucking with yourself solitude. Isolate. Face. Sit, sit down every day. Five, ten minutes and face your fucking self. Write that shit down. Audio that shit. Video that shit. Write it down. Express it however the fuck you want to express it. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. If you share it, don't worry about what the, what, what the world is going to fucking say. Don't worry about that shit. If you know you're doing it because you're releasing it, you're using it as you you you're, you're choosing that way to release any build up heat, uh, unhealed wounds and traumas. Then that's your that's you. Don't worry about nobody else. That's none of your business. Act like nobody else is here but you. That's it. Act like the world is empty. That is just you. Talk to yourself. And just share it. Like I said, there is people out there that's going through the shit that I'm going through. And I know these videos help. I know these videos help. So that's why I do it. I don't hold back. I don't give a fuck what anybody think about me. I don't care. Nobody 
<laughs> you won't last a fucking mile in my fucking shoes. You won't even last half a mile in my shoes. You won't last. This, this, shit, this shit is not for the fucking week. I don't shortcut myself like many of y'all motherfuckers do. I don't shortcut myself. This is hard work. This is inner fucking hard work. Shadow work. Inner work. Darkness. Crying. Screaming. Yelling. Let it go. Changing old habits and patterns. This is a lot. It's a lot. Facing. Experiencing. Like. You know. Physically. Actually. Spiritually. Seeing. You know. Dark forces that you created. Yeah. I experienced those things. I seen those things. I felt them things on me. Yeah. It, it, like I said. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know how hard it is. Y'all don't even know how tough it is. But a lot of y'all easily take so much credit for the for the work that we fucking do. This shit, this shit ain't for the week. This is how I do it. This is how I do it.